can't believe that I haven't done a video like this already. I guess we've scraped the bottom of the barrel. We're talking about animated women today. That's right. All right, real quick, let's lay down some ground rules here. We're going to be objectifying these ladies off the old school grading system of A, B, C, D, and F. No E because, I don't know, it wasn't in school. Anyways, there's one major rule here that is going to, it's going to, this might cause a little bit of controversy, but I don't care, I'm sticking to my guns here. They got to be 18 and older. I mean, that should go without fucking saying, but, I mean, just, just fucking this year, the age of consent in Japan was changed from 13 to 16. Now, even, I, I still don't agree that 16 is old enough, but they do things differently in Japan. I ain't, I ain't gonna judge anybody, alright? But, they do do things differently. I just, I don't agree with it. I think it should be 18 and older, but that's just me, alright? So, yeah, Asuka is disqualified, and so is Ray. If you disagree with that, that's fine. Go make your own video. I don't give a shit. Now, I guess an argument could be made that since they were 28 at, at, during the events of, like, half the Rebuild movies, then it's okay, but I, I'm not even gonna bother with it, alright? We're just gonna leave it as is. No Asuka, no Ray. Deal with it. Alright, let's dig right in here. I got a, I got a real good F-tier character right here. Uh, it's this pink-haired chick. I don't know her name. I, I can't remember her name. I just know I don't like her. Uh, she, well, she was threatening to shoot Shinji, so that's always great. And you know what? I'm gonna put Sakura right in this tier, too. Because she shot me Sato. Like, goddamn. And plus, wait a minute. Wait, how old is Sakura? I'm gonna have to look this up. Hang on. Okay, so I couldn't really find anything concrete, but apparently she's believed to be at least 20. I mean, it makes sense because there was a 14-year skip in, in between the second and the third movie. But I don't know how old she was before the time skip. You know, it doesn't even matter. I, I mean, I wouldn't smash if I, if I could. I wouldn't smash. Fuck that bitch. And fuck the pink-haired girl, too. But not literally. They can go fuck themselves. Alright, well, we're on the topic of the Rebuild movies, how about we just talk about a not-so-fan-favorite character, Mari. I don't know why this character gets so much hate. I don't hate her at all. I mean, she's definitely far from being the best character. The only issue I really have with her is that she just doesn't have a whole hell of a lot of screen time. That's really it. As far as her looks goes, she's like... 60 fucking 2 at the end of the, the final rebuild movie. She's pretty fucking hot for being 62 years old. I ain't even gonna lie. God, I'll give her a solid B. Could definitely use a bit more character development, though. Alright, our next objectification target is Maya Ibuki from the original, not the rebuild. I, I like her better in the original. Uh, wait a minute. How old is she? Yeah, okay, I, I kind of figured, but you, you never can be too sure. You never know. Maya is one of those background characters like Aoba and Hyuga. They don't really get a whole hell of a lot of screen time, but they serve their purpose well. And Maya's not too bad. You know what? I, I might be a little bit generous here, but I'm thinking about giving her a B as well. So, yeah, fuck it. You know what? Give her a B. I, like, there's that part where she gets hit on by Kaji, and... I think he was just doing that to make me Sato jealous, and that's not too fucking fair. God damn it! I think Maya deserves a little bit more respect than that. All right, let's get this over with. It's me, Sato, probably the fan favorite from all the Evangelion ladies, and I just I, I'm not a big fan of her. All right, I think it's more of her personality. I mean, it definitely ain't her looks, because she's obviously for an animated lady, she's pretty, but like, come on, I don't, I just don't like her her personality. If you've seen my Evangelion episode reviews, I kind of, I, I go kind of hard in the paint on Misato. I, I don't know, I think I've started to really dislike her personality as the series goes along. She starts out kind of, like, kind of normal, kind of likable and all that. She's just the goofy, drinks beer, beer a lot, and kind of goofs around a bit. But she can get the job done, especially in the Jet Alone episode. But as the series goes along, mostly when Kaji shows up, that's when she kind of turns into a piece of shit. Now let's talk hypothetical, all right? Let's say that you hook up with Misato. Okay, first off, let's say that that Misato is a real person. 
and you hook up with her, all right? While you're fucking, she's sitting there thinking about Kaji, so just think about that. Oh, what the fuck am I talking about? That's a scene, I'm sure somebody is steaming right now. I gave Maya and Mari, two characters that I wouldn't say are fan favorites, a better score on the waifu scale than Misato. Now I've saved the, the best for last here. This is probably the most important female in the entire series. It is none other than Shinji's own mother. Evangelion Unit 1. Hell, what more could you ask for in a woman? I mean, she's really tall. She's pretty. She's badass. She can run really fucking quick. She can regenerate herself. She can shoot fucking eye lasers that blow the fuck out of anything that it hits. She can do whatever the fuck this is with her arm. And, man, she's just got everything. Just wow. That's a, that's a quality waifu right there. All right, well, you might have expected it to end right there, but if you know my channel very well, you know it ain't over. There's one more lady I haven't talked about yet. I've been saving the best for last. And if you've seen my Evangelion video reviews, again, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, you already know it's Ritsuko. Man, there's something about a lady in a lab coat, let me tell you. Fuck, is there anything bad about Ritsuko? I mean, ignore the fact that she's kind of batshit insane, but... This is Evangelion. Everybody in this is insane in some way. I mean, Ritsuko is, is very much damaged, but... I don't give a fuck, okay? I just don't give a shit. Hell, the first time we see Ritsuko, she's got a fucking swimsuit on. God ah, damn! Oh. Yeah, I, I don't care how bad she's fucked in the head. She, she's getting an A+. Plus. Fuck the grading scale. She's getting the best grade out of all of them. Fuck all of you. Oh, by the way, this is original Ritsuko. I didn't really care for her in the rebuilds. But yeah, original Ritsuko is just, uh, just, god damn. Ah, ah. Alright, so there's the rankings. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you will disagree with that, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, but as usual, I don't really give a shit, so there you go. Go make your own rankings, damn it. I, also, I'm probably missing, I'm sure I'm missing somebody, but I can't be fucked to care, okay? If they ain't Ritsuko, I don't care.